Hey YouTube, this is Chris with Simple How To's and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of display driver has stopped responding and has recovered error in Windows 10. Stick around. All right. So today I'm going to show you how we've helped many people get rid of this error message displayed, has stopped responding, and has recovered. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Search Windows here. And we're going to type in RegEdit. And when you see the Run command, click on that. And... First, we're going to go to H key local machine, and we're going to expand that. Next, we're going to go down to systems and expand that. Now, we're going to go to current control set, expand that. Then lastly, we're going to expand control. Now, we're going to scroll down and look for graphics drivers. And we're not going to expand this. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're just going to click on graphics drivers. Now, here you, you see I already have the TDR delay. I'm going to delete this. And anywhere in this white space here, we're going to right click and click on new. Now, depending if you have a 32 or a 64 bit system, choose whichever one's right for your system. In my case, I'm going to use the keyword. I'm going to click on that. And then here, you're going to have to type in exactly like I type it here. TDR delay. And you have to make sure that the T is capitalized and also the D is capitalized. Now, once you've done that, we're going to right-click on this and click on Modify. Now, we're going to change the value data from 0 to 8 and make sure that it's on hexadecimal and click OK. Now, you want to restart your computer and then run something hard like a game or something, whatever it was that normally gives you that the error message. Go ahead and, and try that. And if you don't get the error, that's awesome, you've solved the issue. If you still get the error, then come back to this point, right click again and modify, and change the value from eight to 10, and click OK. Now, for the most part, eight works, and uh, I've never had to use the 10 as of yet, the value data to 10, but if it does and you need to use it, then by all means, try the, the 10. So if, and then once you do that, you restart the system again and again run the game or whatever it was that, that created that, uh, that error message. And if it's still not working, then it's probably a hardware issue. And nine times out of 10, it's your RAM. And the way we, uh, we do this, if you have a motherboard here, with four slots. Now, some other boards are different. Um, you may have to read your owner's manual to see which one posts first. But normally, um, if you have four slots, uh, the second slot from the CPU here posts first. So what you want to do is you want to take all of your RAM out and put one stick in this slot and then run your game or whatever it is. Um, and if that one's fine, then put the, put the next stick. And you keep doing this until you, you find the one that's giving that error message. Now, if you have uh, only two slots here, then it's um, normally with these, it's the second one from the CPU. So it would be this one here. And you would take them out and you'd put one in here. And if it works fine, you put the next one in here. And if you get the message, then it's your RAM. Also, um, you, if you're still getting this message, then you also want to make sure that your RAM is actually compatible with your motherboard. And that's also a big issue. So just make sure that your RAM is compatible with your motherboard if you have to go that far um, to resolve this issue. Well, I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you like. Visit our website at simplehowtos.com and our Facebook page. Like us on Facebook at Facebook slash simple how to's. Thanks for watching.